My love goes deeper Deeper than the ocean Flows down like the river Down like the river Jordan Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me and today we're doing another episode of March Madness and I've got your favorite Hi Shani <laughs> Guys, I'm so nervous like she's she's got this presence. No, I'm kidding. Oh, she's so dramatic. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She's super awesome. So, um, I invited you here because like I told you, I struggle with makeup and it takes me five minutes to do my makeup simply because <laughs> I'm doing the wrong thing. So I want you to show, I'm going to give you a scenario. Okay. So I'm this girl, or rather let me say I'm this lady mm -hmm. working in corporate or businesswoman and I literally have 30 minutes a day to get ready. Okay. And I want to look popping because I want to make an impression. So what's my everyday makeup routine going to look like? Well, I do a full face, okay. even if I have 30 minutes, even if I have an hour, even if I have 20 minutes. I always feel like I need to do, fill in every single step and make sure it's there. Brag on. <laughs> okay, no, okay. Even, it's just like, for example, if I don't do, if I don't contour, I feel like something's missing. If okay. I don't highlight, something's missing. Okay. But I mean, there's always ways, as you learn how to do makeup, there's ways where you can um, find new techniques to sort of speed up the process. Okay, cool. So we're basically going to be doing everything. Brows, foundation, highlight, contour. Lashes. Lashes. I yeah. would leave out eyeshadow if I'm running late. Yeah. But do you want to do eyeshadow? Should we include I think, eyeshadow? I think we should because when I, I think mo maybe not everyone, but people remember there was a time where eyeshadow was just like this line here. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe some people are stuck there. <laughs> and then it went, oh, wait, I'm still up here. Skanti, where are we now? What are we doing now? We blend. Are we and blending? Then we stop it like yeah. Okay. It shouldn't touch I'm, your eyebrows. Your eyeshadow should not touch your brows. Well, I've been doing the wrong thing because I'm literally up here. Make makeup firstly overwhelms me. I don't know mm -hmm. which products to buy. I told you when you got here that I watched your video and then I just put things in my basket only to get to the the what the, the till. till. And my bill was a hundred was a thousand rand. I know it's expensive, but it's worth it. Oh, can is there a way to not spend that much money as a beginner? What's the most important important thing every beginner should have with a budget okay foundation yeah you can get a, a quite a cheap brow pencil okay yeah um concealer la girl concealers are honestly the best concealers in and my they're opinion. cheap yeah. yeah they're quite affordable yeah i think blush is also important because you want to add color to your face and um what else, what can you contour with i'm trying to cut costs here your powder yeah, you could contour with an affordable powder, like a powder from Essence. Essence powders are really good. Okay. And highlighting, you could, you obviously use the same concealer that you use on your brows, if you really on a budget. Okay. And what else? Lips. I saw I saw people are now. Um, I saw a few videos of people mm -hmm. now um, doing their brows with their foundation, not so much with. Um, yeah, you can also do that. Because I think those are people who are trying to go for a more natural yes. look. Because I don't like the mm -hmm. whole when it looks like yeah, the whole highlight. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't think I'm a fan of that because I really like the natural, yeah. natural look. You can do that, or you can even highlight the bottom and yeah. then use your foundation at the top. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Okay, should we get started? Let's get started. Cool. What's the? Why? Why are you nervous? <laughs> I feel like I'm under pressure for time like but you're like the makeup yes, guru was, but I'm the one who's gonna take forever <laughs> no I am because I don't even know what I'm doing okay but okay. listen did you study makeup I did I did a course oh okay I did a course at Lysoff it was okay well it was a two-year course because it was in depth but they also have short courses that are like six months okay yeah. okay do you advise them or do you think like YouTube think, is really no, doing I really think you can learn a lot from YouTube but if okay. you want to be a professional makeup artist like, yeah be it on, on TV and whatever it really helps in terms of learning how to practice hygiene properly oh, and all the other little different stuff skin types and different skin textures because okay. that's something that you won't really learn on YouTube okay that yeah. makes sense cool let's get started Okay, so we're gonna start with eyebrows. What do you use to do your brows? Um, I use an Essence um, brow kit. What's this? That is a. Um, <laughs> which brand is, is that? I, Essence. I don't know. I Just, think it is Essence. I don't it looks know. like Essence. I can see this. Is so it? So yeah, you okay. use the Essence pencil, Yay. which is great. I used to use that when I first um, started doing makeup. Wow. But I feel like powder is easier Just to go use. on, don't, don't tell me why. we're brushing up. Okay, so we're sorry, we're brushing our hairs upwards. But wait, you've got a good shape, a good eyebrow shape, which makes it easier for you. Mine, I've got a full shape here and like... But then you have a natural arch. You don't have to create it when you're filling in your brows. Okay, but I feel, like nice when I, I feel like when I'm 
filling here mm. and then it looks like you can literally see that I'm using pencil. I don't know what you mean it looks like you're using pencil. Like can you see my brow kind of stops yeah. here and then I have to add on here and then you can literally see a line because I like just go. But then if you brush and you blend it properly it shouldn't look like a line. Okay cool let's get started. So, so am you, I brushing up? Yeah you brush your hairs upwards in the direction that they grow and this is just going to help you see where you should start filling in. Okay. The, uh, let me show you what I use for my... Okay, I use this brow kit from Essence. Some people don't like using powder. I don't. I, I bought like it and gave personal. it to my sister. Really? Yeah. I really like it. Okay, I've got a pencil. Should I use so my you, pencil? Yeah, you can. Okay. Do you want to sharpen it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks fine. I feel like if it's too sharp, the lines like show. Really? Okay, yeah. okay. If you prefer it like that, then it's fine. It really is sh sharpish. <laughs> no, it's not. It is sharpish. <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, so you're going to first draw the line at the bottom of your hairs so okay. that you can define the shape. Okay, where does the line start? So let me draw mine so that you can see. Can you see in the mirror? Oh, my yeah, there we go. I can see. So just like that so i'm literally following my natural brow okay. shape so there's my line yeah and then after that i'm using a brush i don't know how easy it will be with the pencil but that's when i start filling in upwards okay where does the line stop where your natural brow hair stop oh, okay so we don't, don't extend it yeah no cool unless you have really short brows and then now i'm going to be brushing upwards like so and that's how i fill in the brows okay so i do so the same with the thing pencil, with yeah you would do the same thing guys i'm not used to teaching okay but i literally just sit in front of a camera and i do my own thing you'll get used to it i feel like <laughs> you'll get it you're already teaching more unlike when we started and you just went ahead and i'm just like sitting awkwardly <laughs> So carry on filling in even here. Where there's holes? Yeah. Okay. So how does it feel to have the 100k um, plaque? It feels amazing. Is the feeling better than the idea of having one? If that makes sense. Because you know sometimes you make goals and you'll feel like... And then once you achieve it, And then it's just like... like mm. Exactly. Well, for me, I didn't really, I was never really thinking of hitting 100,000 subscribers. Okay. It wasn't a thought that hit me from the get go because obviously in South Africa we're still growing on YouTube. And yeah. So I never thought I'd get to 100,000 subscribers so quickly. Okay. Well, I feel like it was pretty quick. It was. Two years. Yeah. Two years, ne? Yeah. It was. It, was, it wasn't something I expected to happen so soon and also because I wasn't on. I wasn't active on YouTube for a couple of months last year. You did say you took a break, right? Yeah, I took a break. And when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I actually wasn't even uploading content. So I was so shocked that I... I think oh. I upload, I didn't upload for like two months and then I uploaded one video and then I disappeared again. Sure. And I felt really bad, but I wasn't, I wasn't ready to be on YouTube. Speaking about that, what... Because I know a lot of YouTubers might feel pressure to and not just youtubers people on social media in general might feel pressure to have to upload but i know you took time off because you were going through some personal stuff yeah how important was that for you i think it was very important because youtube is a platform where you obviously it's not like instagram where you just take a picture yeah you on camera people need to see your personality people want to see you enjoying what you're doing so this side is the shape on this side is perfect so try and what i thought it. this one is perfect no no okay one. so what should what should i fix so just here? fill in a little bit more here at the top and a little bit here okay cool the importance of being able to show your personality on camera and also looking like you're enjoying what you're doing because obviously mm. you're supposed to be enjoying it yeah so i i couldn't be on youtube and act like i was okay when i was going through my own personal things i was very demotivated i didn't even want to go to my lectures like i was just really? i was going through the most for a couple of months yeah so I was like, uh -uh, I'm not, I can't be on YouTube and act like I'm okay. And also I'm not even motivated to edit content. So now I'm going to film videos. And, then and I filmed gonna... quite a few videos and I ended up deleting them because I was just like... Really? Mm. But I'm glad you did that though. Because there's nothing, yeah. w nothing worse as forcing passion. If because you, know you, what I mean. you even end up hating what you're doing. Exactly. And, and I it never shows. wanted to, to, to hate am I, am, I, am I fine now? Okay. <laughs> this side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's wrong with this side? Um, let's see. I don't know how... How come yours looks wrong? so perfect already? Can I please fix it? Okay. For you, if you don't mind. 
Wait, I'm gonna use... try. Okay, wait, but tell me it's what's wrong first. Because I, I want it to be the same shape as. Oh yeah, but I did say yeah. in my last video that so this, my this my brows look a little like bit cousins. too high compared to this one. Oh okay, yeah. you can fix it. Okay, yeah, that looks better. How often do you leave the house without makeup on? Almost every day. Really? I don't wear makeup. Every so when day. we see your pictures and you're all made up, that's just like once in a while kind of thing. I probably wear makeup like three or four, three times a week when I have yeah. to, like if I'm going to an event or if I just filmed a video. But just to wake up and put on makeup and go you don't to campus, do that. no. And confidence, how do you feel? Do you not feel like, oh, I look like I just woke up? Like you're pretty confident. I don't care anymore. I mean, I used to really worry about that. And yeah. Also because I, I, I have a history of having acne. So now and again, my skin does still break out. Okay. So when my skin is breaking out, I feel very insecure about yeah. my skin. I won't lie. It really bothers me. But I've just gotten to a point where I'm like, it's whatever. I'm human. I'm not going to be perfect all the time. So I struggled with that. I've always like where you are now is where mm -hmm. I was, where I never wore makeup mm -hmm. and I was confident. And then my skin broke out and I had pigmentation. And then every time someone's talking to me i just feel like they're staring that's at how me. i feel when my skin is breaking out i won't lie i'm very insecure when my skin is breaking out yeah and i can't wear makeup every day though yeah because obviously you need to also. let your skin breathe mm. so i just you just like whatever forget about it i try to forget about it so we're going to be concealing our brows now i'm using the la girl issue for concealer in the shade cool tan I oh, have a cool shades. tan, but I don't know where it is. Use warm honey if you should have I use warm honey. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I just put some on the back of my hand. Some people mm -hmm. judge me when I use the actual brush. Some people say it's not as, as clean as it would be with a brush. So I don't know if you want us to use a brush or should we use the applicator? What's easy? The we are doing we are doing beginner. Yeah. Beginners don't wanna be buying a whole bunch of brushes no. anyway. So I put some on the back of my hand and then I just flatten my brush. Okay. Is this fine? Yeah, is this enough, fine. right? Why does my brush look so messy? You just need to flatten it. Is this enough? I feel like people wear a lot of makeup and I don't Oh my gosh, that was so quick. Is it good? Yeah, that's You see why I take five <laughs> minutes? <laughs> like I just went, cause I feel like if I go slow and I think about it too much, I look messy. But then if you go fast, aren't you scared of messing up? If I mess up, I'll just start all over. Oh girl. Well, the teacher is really slow. Okay, but maybe I'm not doing something right. No. I'm just really slow and okay, I Okay, let do me also, let me also try. But I do have tendencies of finishing really quick. I think even in class, you know, I was that student in G who was just rushing to finish so I can go stand next to the dustbin and sharpen my pencils. <laughs> <laughs> so I can have conversation with my friends. <laughs> What kind of student were you? We're gonna get to know me, Charlie, guys. What kind of student was I? I feel like I don't even remember most of my childhood. What? When Why? I was really young, um, I wasn't a disruptive student. I was just normal. I think because I went to a very small school, I was actually very quiet. Shy? Were you shy? Yes. You do come off as shy I when am. you first meet people, but then you open up. And then you, you're fun when you open up, right? Like yeah. on your YouTube, you really like fun. Yeah. It takes me a while to open up to people. And then in high school, my, I made friends with girls that were pretty loud. And so I also became that person. We were actually quite naughty in high school. We were very naughty. Which one were you? Were you the one? Wait, why, why do you have stuff in the middle and I don't? Because I conceal all the way. Should I do that too? Yeah, you can. Should it make like a bird? Basically. But then we're going to blend it up. Ah. Oh. You were saying in high school, I'm just like, um, should we start concealing the top now? Or do you want to conceal with your foundation? Um, what do you recommend? I think this is pretty dark, so I can we can do this with this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I made friends with like loud girls who were very naughty. We used to do things like sneak out of the boarding house. Oh, you were in boarding school? Yeah, I was. Sneak alcohol into the boarding house. Mm. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> what grade were you in when you were doing that? In grade 11. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. No, but wait, were you one of those who... Because <laughs> there's two types of naughty. There's the naughty who, after all the fun he's had, goes back and studies and passes and does well. And then there's the naughty who, when it's test time, gets shisa. <laughs> no, I had to pass. Yo, my gran would kill me if I didn't. So, I mean, as much as my friends and I were naughty, we used to make sure we get our work done. Okay, that's great. Do you talk a lot about your gran? Did she raise you? She did. Are you spo were you spoiled? No, not, I don't think I was spoiled. 
Yeah. You've left I'm me blending. behind. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're Wait, is, is this fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now, are you happy with the size? You need is to be it thick? With the size. Let's see the other one. Just um, conceal a bit more on this end because this side is longer than the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're thick. Well, I like thickish brows, so it's up to you, really. So once you're okay, done, you're do blend with the with the fluffy brush if you have one. Which brush is the fluffy brush? I use this one. It's like a miniature foundation no? brush. You can Not use that. One. Can I use this? Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see how you blend. Huh? What's blending? Because there's doing this. And then there's just tap, 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 tap. I just, when I'm blending Go. concealer, I just do this. Okay. The only time I tap, tap, tap is when I'm using highlighting. Your, okay. When I'm using my beauty blender. Okay. And I mean, you can also tap, tap, tap your foundation if you feel like it looks streaky, but this brush doesn't leave my makeup looking streaky. I've actually never used this brush for my brows and... Which one do you usually use to blend your concealer? I don't. I used, the one time I did do it, I used this one. But ink by Zisila because you see it's so straight. Yeah, it's very thin. I don't think I was spoiled. My grand is very strict, and she's definitely the kind of grand who, when you want something, you have to work for it. Mm. So in high school, how I used to work for things is marks. Marks, yeah. This so for example, I didn't have an iPhone until they saw my metric results. I had oh, like okay. a BlackBerry that was dying. I wasn't even on Instagram. When did I get on Instagram? I don't even think I was on I Insta Instagram. Okay, but we did. Okay, we. Okay, our ages are different. How old are you? Twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't think Instagram was big when I was in matric. I don't think so. That was twenty twelve. When did you get on Instagram? December twenty fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even get a BlackBerry. My dad believed you can only get a phone once you're in matric. Ooh, imagine. But were you in boarding school? No, okay. lived at home. No, but still, everyone had phones. The advantage of being away from home is because obviously they need to call you. Mm. So they had to get me a phone. You said you're grand, you had to work for stuff. Does that explain your work ethic? Why you work so hard now? I assume you work hard, right? I feel I like you work hard. I think my work ethic is mostly inspired by her because she's also a very hard-working woman what does she she's do she's a businesswoman so she has shares in different um companies and she owns three build it not build it but they sort of like build it warehouses really yeah your grandmother yeah that's amazing so when my basically when my grandfather passed away mm. he passed away when they were really young and oh, she wasn't okay. she was a teacher by profession but after she had kids she stopped teaching she had six kids yeah <laughs> was a thing back then <laughs> no but you know i'm shocked because raising six kids by yourself exactly do you watch this so is she, us no i don't okay you must watch this, this is YouTuber us has like 10 kids no I watch, I watch. this is us it's a series oh, oh what? my bad. <laughs> bad i don't watch tv what? no it's a series you're gonna are you emotional do you like i am you, you're gonna love it you I'm must watch this cry is us. i'm gonna give you this is us and the lady had three kids triplets by the way and then her husband died and i get emotional when i watch it because i'm just like i can't imagine raising my daughter by myself so now your grandmother six so she had to make a plan she had to find a way to raise her kids so that's when she got into business sure that's amazing so it really inspires me and is she still full-time working no running for businesses or are they running themselves now they're basically running themselves but she's still involved in making sure that everything is in order but she's really old now so she gets a lot of help from my aunt. Do you ever fear that your time will be out and you won't have ways to make money? No. That's confident. Am I, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> you still remember you teaching me, right? Um, okay, make this side a little bit lower, this brown, so you can just conceal a little bit more at the top there. Okay, let me use. Oh, I, I feel like I'm such part. a bad teacher. I you can't are. Really you really, this. really are. <gasps> No, you are. Like, I'm not even good. <laughs> Guys, she's a terrible teacher. I'm a terrible teacher. But I'm a great student, so it's working out. Teacher. Yeah, I was saying, do you feel like your time's going to run out? You and mean in terms of... Oh my God, I just messed up my brow. You mean in terms of social media? Yeah. The reason why I feel, I feel like my time will... Maybe, obviously, some certain people will lose interest. Okay. And start watching new YouTubers, which mm -hmm. makes sense. But obviously, there's always different people who are coming across the platform. Okay. So as much as maybe Umbali will stop watching my content, there might be an Adrian who just found my channel in like five years. True. And I've been watching YouTube since I, YouTubers since I was 15, beauty bloggers. And they still, they still, they still working. They, some of them are now buying houses and their channels are growing. Yeah. 
<clears throat> their platforms are still growing and they're doing very well for themselves. So I don't know, I just think it's one of those platforms where if you're someone who obviously knows how to keep up with the times and keep on evolving, yeah. then you shouldn't really wor worry about burning out. How but now you need to be able to improve your content and make sure that you're constantly, constantly appealing growing. to people. Mm. Yeah. How does it feel to be the it girl, the one everyone wants to hang Guys, around I'm, with? No, I'm not. You really? <laughs> no, listen, you know, in movies, there's that blonde girl. And, and look, and now you're blonde. <laughs> there's the blonde girl who's in the middle, who gets that, the... That who girl gets the, a bully and she's she, mean. Okay, but you're not that girl. I'm just making an example. Who gets the boyfriend? Which we'll we'll get into if <laughs> if, if she'll let us in. <laughs> if she'll let us in. Are you single? Can you see why I was nervous? Are, are you single? Are you single? <laughs> Be careful I how am, you answer. I am. Michelle, are you am. single? I am. She's single, guys. I am single. So who bought you diddle daddles? <laughs> <laughs> who bought me diddle daddles? Mm -hmm. And roses. <laughs> um, oh, uh, uh, okay, my ex-boyfriend did. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying this whole friendship thing <laughs> out. <laughs> What's next? Primer. Primer. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm using my Essence Prime Studio Glow Boosting Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm using my LA Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. Why aren't you doing the thing that you guys do? Because I can't see <laughs> my if it's guys, or not. This is what they do. <laughs> Okay, Are you cool. To drag us? I'm not dragging. It's just, it's just. I always wondered why you guys do it. <laughs> so you, you can either now? use your fingers okay. or you can use a brush. I like to use a brush. Um, I'll use my fingers. Okay. So you literally just apply this all over your face. Okay. So did you finish your diddle daddles? No, I didn't. You are. Uh, I had so many. I had quite a few packets, and then I was like, Nah, these are gonna make me huge. And mm -hmm. Zondens in Yongo, so I gave some away. That's nice of you. Mm. Speaking of giving away, how did you start Sia Cezanne? Sia um, how did we start the foundation again? So, Dineo and I were following each other on Twitter. Yeah. And um, in high school, I was very much in, involved in initiatives where we were giving to schools and going to schools, reading to kids, going to old age homes. Yeah. And also at home, we, we help out a local children's center in okay. Kopstad. So it's always something that I've been passionate about. Mm. My mom and I used to even have like a feeding scheme in Durban really? for, a, for a bit, yeah. So I knew that's something I wanted to carry on even in Joburg. But you know when you just move to a place you don't know mm. anything or anyone. I didn't know where the charities are, I didn't know. And also getting around in Joburg when you don't have a car is pretty difficult. You'll find that centers on Hill Road, you live all the way in Randburg and yeah, then it's just, just like, like expensive. So I remember I tweeted the one time, where can I give away shoes? I'm looking for a girl's shelter. Because mm. um, I like to go through my cupboard and just like empty out so we can move on to foundation. Cool. What do we do with the leftover stuff? We can use that to highlight later. Okay. But if it's irritating, you can wipe it off with a wipe. It is. Can I have your Johnson sure. & Johnson wipes? <laughs> sure, girl. She's getting the bag. To be honest with you, I bought these um, before you even actually did your campaign, and mm. they really, really They're are amazing. Great. They're amazing. They're really good. Yeah, they're really amazing, and they don't leave you dry. Yeah, they they moisturize your skin. I think I want to wipe my eyes as well. And that's how you started, you guys. Yeah, so connected. I tweeted about that. We, we we had a meeting about another thing that we were supposed to do at the Young Zanzi Foundation. Um, what is it? A stationary drive, and then next thing we're like, let's just start our own thing, and that's how it basically came about. That makes sense. Are you guys fully registered, doing the whole yeah. thing registered nine yards right? Account. That's great. Do you ever steal money? <laughs> no. <laughs> we literally answered this question in our foundation Q and A. Really? Cause, Did cause someone people, ask you if you ever yeah, steal yeah, money? People were like, "How do you guys? Do you guys make money off this foundation?" Like, and we were no, like, "No, it's an we NGO. really don't. Literally." But, but NGOs make money. That's why people the probably is, ask. The thing is, ours is still very small and we run it ourselves. Okay. So it's not like we have salaries to pay or anything of that sort. Okay. So we don't see the need to take out money. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like this is easy for me. Have you tried it? Do you like it? I have. Do you like it? My shade oxidized. Okay. And What's also oxidized? I feel like the it's when orange. It, when it changes color, so it could either oh. go orange or it could go gray. Mine went a little bit gray. Oh, that and makes also, sense. And also, I feel like the coverage for me isn't great. Uh, okay, so I'm using the SA Lauder Double Wear. We had to change <laughs> the SD card, so that part got cut out. And <laughs> now we're wearing our foundations. Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna try to put a lot on. I'm I'm very scared of putting makeup on. Mm -hmm. I always feel like just go for it. I'm just gonna look like crayon. I feel like you maybe you feel like it's gonna be cakey, but when you yes. put a whole face, then it just all comes together. Okay, let me keep going. Let me keep going. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent happy with my eyebrows today, but you know what? This one is great. This one is not behaving. Behaving. I'll be fixing my left brow while you put on your foundation. That's not fair. I'm just fixing it because it's. I've got lines. Can you see if them? you feel like it's streaky, then go over with your beauty blender. I like this one. Okay. Do you know this one? These little packs yeah, they sell I usually it. get those for my kids when I'm doing clients. Oh. Oh, do you, yeah, speaking about that, do you still do clients? I do, but not a lot. Not as much as I used to. I actually had someone today. Yeah. And I actually miss it. So now I'm going to do it a bit more this year. So guys, if you need a makeup artist, there yeah, you go. Yeah, guys, book me. How much are you going to charge? Please don't charge two million. <laughs> I won't. I have different rates with different um, people. Not people, but <laughs> occasions. You know, so there's those I people. Can't, for example, charge a, a metric dance student the same price as a bride. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because you use less product or also the occasion. I'm just also being considerate of okay, the budget. The you know? Okay. I know what it's like to be planning a metric dance and your parents are telling you that, hi, your dress was so expensive. Now you have to mm. make up artists that sold it. So I guess it's just. I just try to be. Who did your makeup for your for. metric favor? I did it myself, guys. I watched YouTube videos until like I knew how to put on lashes and really? I did my own makeup. Yep. I had a makeup artist and I had blue eyeshadow. So. And when you look back at the pictures, I'm do you just cringe like, or? Jesus, I paid money. Everyone knew I was interested in makeup, so it was never a conversation of let's get her makeup artist because they're mm. probably like, I know, she'll do herself. She'll do it herself. Yeah. Right? Did your singing that your grandmother is. I almost want to say educated, but I don't want to say educated, but like a teacher mm -hmm. and now businesswoman. Did she ever say, Michali, this makeup thing of yours? She okay was against it for the longest time. I can imagine. The longest time. Until this day, she doesn't understand it fully. You lie. I promise you. And the only thing that gives her reassurance is the fact that I'm, I'm studying like a proper degree now. I'm not okay. just doing makeup only. Well, let me, start, let me not say a proper degree because yes. I don't want to undermine qualified makeup artists. Exactly. Because it's also a proper qualification. It's also a proper degree. Mm -hmm. But I'm studying um, strategic brand communications. Why? It's, it's always interested me. Okay. It's always interested me. Um, I first went to Lifestyle. When I was at Lifestyle doing makeup, I was also studying fashion media and I hated it. But mm. I knew I always wanted to do something with branding, mm. but I didn't know where to study it until I moved to Joburg and I found out that there's a Vega. Does that, is that why your, what can I say, your career is tying up so nicely? Is it because of the theory you're probably getting from school or do you just think that's how it's just happening i'm learning as i go hey because okay. when i started this whole digital marketing thing yeah i wasn't studying strategy but it helps a lot okay it really does help and it actually also helps me at school when it comes to doing presentations and whatnot and mm. having to come up with campaigns i usually just refer to ones that i've already done yeah because you strike me as a very like you plan your stuff, like especially your social media, as much as it's fun. Do I fun, seem like a perfectionist? No, no, no. Not a perfectionist. You don't seem like a perfectionist and not in a bad way, yeah. but you seem like you're very intentional about what you're doing. Like you take your, I feel like you take your work pretty seriously. I'm trying to. Okay. I try to. So you're doing a good job. Thank you. Have you made I your I feel first? like you're a perfectionist. Mm. You are. Girl, you because even have mics. How many YouTubers in South Africa have That's my mics? husband, not me. <laughs> That's my husband, not me. Okay, there is a level, but yeah. I'm trying to tone it down because no, no, it's really caused me a lot of breakdowns. Why? Because I take things very seriously. So if it doesn't work out the way I want it to, you get frustrated. I get so frustrated that it just ruins everything. Mm. So I'm trying to tone it down and having a child helps me tone it down because yeah. you'll say I'll be leaving the house at half past 11, at half past 11, she's, at half past 11 she starts crying. And yeah. you know, it just shows yeah. you that life isn't always what you want it to go. Okay, are we done? I think yeah. I should blend a little more underneath here. No, that's fine. Am I good? Yeah, I cool. Good. Next. Okay, so I'm gonna set my brows with a gel. I don't know if you do that. You can use mine if you want. Oh. So I literally just brush through them. How important is that? It's not that important. I just do it because it's a habit, I guess. What does it do? Make them not it, move? Yeah, it helps them stay in place. So if you're someone with curly brows oh. or bushy brows, this is probably something you should invest in. And it's from Essence, so it's affordable. How much are we looking at? I'm gonna guess around 50 bucks. Because cool. I, I honestly don't remember the price. Have you made your first million? 
I think I have. What do you oh, mean? Oh, why are we just gonna <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you think you have? Okay, according to my manager, yes, I have. <laughs> Girl, and you how old? <laughs> You've got an accountant? I have an accountant under the agency that I'm managed. That makes sense. Yes. Uh, why do you say you think you have? Because um, when I first started working, I didn't have a management team. Mm -hmm. I was doing everything myself. And I wasn't someone who kept up with my finances. Are you the type when you make your check, you go and buy a bag? No. Not, okay. I actually have a savings account. Okay. And um, yeah, I'm trying to save more this year mm -hmm. and also invest my money. So, yes, I have poor spending habits. I will... Um, I will Admit but that's that. okay as long as you save first. I always say you save. No, no. First you give. Wherever you give. It's either foundation, mm. tithe, whatever you be mm. believe in. You give at least 10% of everything you make. Mm. And then you have to save at least 10% of everything you make. Mm. And then you can, you can spend the rest maybe. Okay. But maybe let's try aim for like saving 30%. Yeah, I think save higher than that. Yeah, save but 10% 10. 10. is a good start. Yeah, especially for people start. who can't save at all. Exactly, Yeah, exactly. Well, first, I like to conceal my lids. I'm going to use my medium beige concealer from LA Girl. I bought this because of you. Beauty treats. Is you it, said beauty you treats. Is it, it beauty treats? Yeah, it is beauty treats. I, I don't know if I'm happy with it. I don't know how it would be if I'm not happy with it. Because I, I really don't know much mm. about makeup. Like someone asked me if I'm happy with my brushes. And I'm just like... Oh, the brushes. The they brushes, brushes they work. <laughs> exactly. Okay, what are we... So I'm first concealing. And, what? Um, you can warm honey. Okay. Yeah, warm honey. What's fine. the point of this? So that the eyeshadow stays in its place? Yeah, it also just gives you like an even canvas. Mm, okay. So it, color, it covers up the dark circles. Is that fine? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then now you're going to blend that with your beauty blender. Cool. And then I'm going to set that with my loose powder. I've got this. Is this the yeah, same, thing? same thing? Why don't Just you use this? Brands. I used to use that, but then I fell in love with this. But I still I still like that. But is this for like beginners? The thing is for me, don't you have to order this online? I, I, I got it as a gift online. Oh, okay. Because at least I can walk in store and purchase this. Oh, but this it's too really me Because I was like, oh, now I have to order it every single time I need it. Can they, how long does your makeup last? Doesn't it last like three years? No. Does yours last that long? This is the because first. I, maybe I will wear makeup more than you. Mm. So. And okay. then I'm going to set the concealer with powder like that. What does setting do? It um, prevents your concealer from creasing. Okay. So as you learn how to do makeup, you obviously have the, um, what is it called? Can I use this brush? No? Mm -hmm. Use the slightly fluffier one. Oh, this one? Okay. You also need this that one. for blush, but it's fine if you use it on your banana powder, you'll just dust it off. Okay. So you can make the choice to either set your concealer or just go right in with eyeshadow because sometimes when you're working with bright colors, it's nice to go directly on top of your concealer because it just helps intensify the color. But then in that case, blending becomes more difficult. Mm. So it's something that you can really do once you've figured out how to do your eyeshadow. What are we using? So I'm using the, oh my god, I love that palette. Do you? It's like my favorite palette. Oh, yay. And I recently dropped it and I shattered some of the. Do you want mine? Okay. okay. Oh girl, you have advanced people palettes. I, I got them as gifts. I did like a makeup video and then I got gifts. Really? Yeah. Love it. So I'm using my, actually, I don't even know which palette to use. Maybe I'll use both. Or oh, actually, maybe let me use this one. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use this. the Urban Decay Desert Dusk palette. I'll use the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's Morphe, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of look do you want to create? Natural. Okay. So I'm going to start off with there's a transition a look, color. There's a look you've done. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think now. It was as if it was like a chocolatey look of your, on your eyes. Did I do it on my channel? No. On you had a picture. Yeah. It had a, it was How long very, ago was this? I don't know. I've just seen it. Did it have browns and golds? I don't know. Where's my phone? Should I stalk you? It's Did I have a bob? I think so. I don't and know. And it was like a brown smoky eye. Something like that. I think so. Your phone's on Where's the couch. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. It's fine. We'll create so something. So I was thinking of doing something with um, these colors and then having a little bit of that on. I don't like red on me. Really? On my eyes now. 
But this is not really a red. This is more <laughs> like, like a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can use browns and gold. These are my colors. Yeah, that's fine. But so should... then you're going to start with the transition color. Okay. Um, because you can't start, you can start with that as your transition color. Okay. So transition color you put on your crease. Okay, where's the crease? Here? Yeah. Literally the, here. The okay, eye cool. gold tips. Okay. Is this brush fine? No. You need a fluffy blending brush. Alrighty. Uh, okay, let's see how you do it. So I literally just blend it like that. We said it good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's quickly move on so we don't take too long. Is it sign? Happy with that. Yeah, that's great. So now that's you're actually a really nice with... color. Thank you. See, you were right. Like yeah, I know. Do you want to go in with this? Yeah, let me add a bit. Yeah. So I use them just to show you guys the colors that we're using. So we used this. This is called amber in the crease. And then I'm probably going to go in with this brown here for my outer corners. And I'm going to mix it with this guys, red, good, which is called saffron. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing okay, now? Same so brush. Now, same brush. Mm -hmm. I like to use the same brush. So I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm going to mix it with this brown for the outer corners. Okay, so which ones should I use? So you can mix um, that and the brown. Okay, cool. So I literally just put it on the outer corners of my lid like that. Okay. If you feel like it's this, it's not blending well at the top, what you can do, because what I just did is I grabbed a clean brush and then I just blended. Okay. I love this look, this brownish, reddish look. Looks really nice. Cool. Now, we are gonna move on to inner corners. So we're gonna switch brushes. Yeah, my ning in my Get corner. like a small, do you have a small dome brush? I feel like I do have all these brushes, they're just not here. You can use it. Can I use it? Okay, cool. And then um, I just like to wet my brush with some setting spray because I feel like it helps intensify the color. Guys, I bought the spray and I never use it and it's... You never use it? No. Don't... You can set your makeup with it? Hi. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this Blood Moon. Uh, should I go in with this one? Yeah, that's okay, fine. Okay, cool. You can even go in with a gold if you want to. So this is what the shade looks like, guys. Just so you guys can see. I'm just copying like finding colors that are close to what she's And then I'm using. gonna place that onto my lid. Just at the bottom there? Yeah. And I'm just gonna cover the first half of my okay, wait, maybe I didn't put lower enough. lid. Oh, just the half, first half. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over the whole thing. Mm, I almost did. And I think with um, easy looks you don't want to define it too much so you're not trying to create a cut crease so even if you go above it's fine as long as it's well blended do you want to have kids i do sometimes sometimes <laughs> i'm weird i'm i don't know i go through moments of why are you I looking at me wrong <laughs> i feel like you took it too high okay. but it's not bad so just grab can your be honest Okay. your crease brush the one you're using to blend your crease the fluffy brush mm -hmm. and just blend here at the yeah where, no not too low oh. just up here like that so now we can <clears throat> highlight our faces if you feel like you have eyeshadow fallout then just no you don't okay so i'm going to be using um a mixture of cool tan as well as medium beige actually i think i'm going to use where's my other you made me buy creamy beige and now you don't have it on your table I used to switch, I switch between creamy beige and medium beige. Okay. Same thing, really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we spent a thousand <laughs> rand, CC. So you better use these things so you made us buy. I'm use my Revolution Makeup Concealer as What's well. What's Revolution Makeup? Never heard it's of like that. It's like It's so affordable. It's okay. so affordable. And this is in the shade C12. You should try it. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to mix. Okay. Yeah. Let's see so how we're going to be that. highlighting the bridge of our nose. What does highlighting do? It just helps bring forward those features that mm. you highlight. And then contouring draws the ones that you don't want. So for example, if you have a big forehead, you'd contour your forehead because you want to make it appear smaller. Mm. Yeah. So I'm highlighting and then I'm also going to do under my eyes. So it's bridge of nose, cupid's bow and chin. I'm putting more warm honey because it clearly feels like I'm starting to look ghosty. So we're going to fix up. And also, how come she's so mad and I'm dewy and we did the exact same thing? But we're using different products. <clears throat> Why do I have... 
Maybe it's the primer. Yeah, probably. But you don't like matte. I don't. Well, yeah, I don't. I want my forehead to be matte, but I also like to have a little bit of a glow coming through. I'm just put adding more concealer because I feel like my under eyes aren't concealed well. And then we can move on to setting our concealer. Okay. How did you know there was a whole industry like Because I don't think I even... Because I really loved makeup. I started, I think I started stealing my, mom, my mom's makeup in like grade five. Yeah, so I'd steal her makeup. When we go on school excursions, I'd wear makeup. But I obviously didn't know how to do my makeup. So I started researching things like Bobby makeup and then mm. I discovered tutorials and I was hooked. Like, like all day, every day, every afternoon after school, I'd go sit on the computer. Until, really? Yes, and I'd sure. watch tutorials until they lock up the computer room. It was bad. But then how blessed are you to get to do what you're passionate I about? Know, like right? very few people get to It's such a blessing. Do that. Are we setting? Okay, cool. So I'm just using the same brush I used for setting the lid. Mm. Which one did I use? This one, was it this one? Yes. So I'm oh. just gonna go over, it's starting to crease already. I'm just gonna go over my concealer. Oh, mine too, right? Can you see it? No? Yeah, just blend a little bit. And then this is just applied under your eyes like so. Some people put on a whole lot because they want to bake, bake. Um, since I like dewy, I just pat some on and then I dust it off. I like a dewy finish. And then I also like to put some on, on, on my smell lines because okay. sometimes my foundation creases there. And if you want to set your forehead as well, you can. Oopsie. Put a lot that side. Just put it on my forehead. So how come you've never been interested in makeup? Like what made you not like makeup? Um, I'm not a very patient person. So I think it requires... It does. A lot of patience. And... I don't have a reason. I don't think I hate it. I just don't think I've ever... Yeah, like I've never been able to do it right. And, and like I said, I've never had to cover up. If you know what I mean. And I know it's not just to cover up, but I just really liked how I look without makeup. But now I'm starting to enjoy it. That's why I'm starting to get into it. But I need to do it right. I don't know if we should contour some the everyday look. No. Okay. So let's move on to blush then. Wait, is this fine? Yeah. Why am I white? <laughs> do you feel like you're white? Did you dust off the powder properly? Okay, so I'm gonna contour. My, we're not gonna contour our faces, guys, because we're trying to do an everyday makeup look. But I'm gonna contour my nose. I can't not con contour my nose. Okay, does that make it look smaller? Yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna use my concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. I would use a powder, but I forgot my powder palette at home. I have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Which brush should I use? Uh, any brush that's fluffy so that you can blend well. So you just apply it on the outer corners of your nose. So I'm, I'm using the MAC Format Frost Powder Blush. Okay, I'm also... It's blush. <laughs> and I'm just using a blush brush. You can use this brush. Oh, this one's too Let's big. Just the... You could use that actually. But it's big. It's quite massive, right? Dust off the powder. Cool. Oh, and then um, you just apply it. I don't know how to explain where you apply it. So you apply it here. When you smile? Yeah. And you drag it this way instead of just applying it mm. right here and making a circle. So we're going back into the eyeshadow palettes we used. Mm -hmm. And then you can just get a really small blending brush. Okay. So try to keep it as close to the lash line. What's your possible. shoe size? I'm a size four. I'm a size three and four actually. But small feet are cute. No one wants a buzzer buzzer. Exactly. You're I I want Now you must be sharing shoes with your man. <laughs> Maybe you love your forces. What did they say? Uh, Girls with big feet must have men. <laughs> exactly. My family has huge feet though, so. Mine too. Everyone's a seven. <gasps> my family too. Wait, but my sister's a nine. She's gonna kill me. But my she's a nine. Is a eight. So how did you not? I like the good Lord was just like favor, favor, God. favor. He came through for <laughs> like me and he I did. appreciate that. Like imagine wearing pointy shoes with a... Yo, uh -uh. I'm a five now. 
I was, I'm primarily a five now. I was a four and a five. Mm -hmm. And then my foot grew. Do you think it'll go back? No. Because my mom was a six before she had me. And then when she had me, she was a seven. And she's been a seven for the rest of her life. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's do our lashes. Are you ready? I'm using these other ones. Darn beauty. They were a gift. They'll work. Are, are then, you specific with lashes? I... Yes, Why? I am. Because I've tried quite a few different brands and I just stick to the ones that I like. And also I like to have your feathery mm. like lashes. They look more real, right? Yes. Okay. Which, which side is the beginning now? This side. So now we're going to stick on our lashes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, do you use your fingers? But I've got I use pointy my fingers. nails. I don't, know if I don't like work. using tweezers. Let me try. How, okay, firstly, how do you make it easy? How long does it take you? Do you ever have problems? Can we? Can you just simplify the mathematics, the mathematics of doing lashes? I don't think there's a way to sim simplify um, sticking on your lashes. I think it's just with practice, and as time goes by, you get better at it, so it becomes quicker. Okay. You don't and put. That's the honest you truth. don't put mascara first. Some people do. I do sometimes and sometimes I don't. We can put mascara first, actually. Thank you for reminding me. Does it make it easier? To get into the habit of... It makes it easier when you're cleaning your lashes. Because oh. if you put mascara after you stuck on your lashes and you're putting mascara on your lashes. Okay. So I'm okay. using the Bionike Defense Color 3D Mascara. I feel like Maybelline needs to... Sponsor you. Yeah, they need to contact me because all my stuff is Maybelline. Maybelline, girl. Come through for a girl. Come through. What was, how much was your first payment with a brand? I think the first brand that, I, that ever paid me was NYX. Mm -hmm. And it was to host a masterclass. Really? No. Was it to host a masterclass or was it to, to do a video? I think it was a video. Mm -hmm. And the first payment, I think it was like 5.5 or 7K. Between those two. That's not bad. Yeah. Have you doubled now or tripled? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the tea. <laughs> we're a little bit expensive now. We know we're worth now, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And how much was your first blogging paycheck? 10K. Hey, girl. But listen, because I work with my husband. Yeah. <laughs> so he needs a cut. And I mean, also, you're starting now. Yeah. You started last year. I started last year. And also, I feel like. Because you had friends who were already, you, yours was in the industry. Yeah, you, so she I had people easily, to talk to. I had no one to talk exactly. to. I had to think of race from the top of my head. Just like, I was undercharging for the longest time. I remember the one time Sigun Banza sat me down. Yeah. And he was like, how much are you charging? And when I told him, he was like, what? What are you doing? Mikali, you have like double the amount of my subscribers. What are you And he mean? charges a lot. And he was like, look at my red card. I was like, I'm paying myself. I literally went on my laptop the and same And you just time, like and changed I everything. I changed everything. Yeah, so I, it helps to have people in the industry that you can really speak to. It really does. Um, I went to, you You hadn't arrived yet. We, had, we were at a uh, Google event and Lynette and Tuli were speaking. And she said, um, as women, we need to know our value. Like mm. men find it easy to, to just name their price, even if they're exactly. underqualified. But as women, we yes. just would take what we get. And she said, exactly. honey, calculate your coffee so that you can arrive there fresh. Calculate your makeup, your dress, your petrol, your, your energy, your mood. All those things need to be included. So now I've had to calculate, okay, I leave my child at home. That's emotional. <laughs> I don't know, emotional what what? Emotional uh, neglect. Emotional neglect. Rand. I need to, yeah, thousand rand. <laughs> my nanny thousand rand all those things um, and, and i'm not saying right. go overboard but we need to understand our value and we must be unapologetic about that okay mitali i've got too much glue so what should i do now if you have too much take some off that's more she's into the minuses You enjoy your own company. I do. That's a great place to be at. Because I, I think enjoying your own company means you're at peace with mm. yourself. And it's something I really struggled with last year. And I think that's one of the reasons why I wasn't okay because I, I wasn't used to being by myself. Mm. But then now that I'm comfortable in my own space. I'm not good at <laughs> doing the lower lash. Do you want a mascara with a thinner? Oh, that's the trick. I just want so now we're gonna highlight our faces. This is the slow one now. <laughs> so 
I don't know. Let me actually use my Essence highlighter since I'm we using, are going the affordable route. I'm using a MAC highlighter. So this is the Essence Go For The Glow highlighting palette. It's so pretty. Yeah, it has different shades. Mm. I wouldn't use the pinks though. But yeah. I'll stick to the bronzer bronze stuff. Here. Okay. And I'm just going to use a small brush to highlight oh. my nose, the bridge of my nose and my brow bones. My brow bone. And then I'm going to use the fan brush for my cheekbones. So I apply a little bit here and then I blend it at the tip of my nose and then I just blend it out with my finger like so. Okay. So here. And then I apply on the bridge of my nose like then if you feel like it's too much, you can also use your finger to just tap it. What do we do now? Under the brow? Yeah, brow bone. I'm mixing it with my Bobbi Brown um, highlighter, guys. Blah, blah, this. What's your dream brand that you'd like to work with? Or that you haven't worked with? Or are you working with it or about to work with it? At the moment, my dream brand to work with that I haven't worked with mm -hmm. is, worked with is Mercedes-Benz. Girl, we're in the same WhatsApp group. My life. Can we just talk to Mercedes? Hi, Mercedes. Honestly. We both drive Hi. a Mercedes Benz. And we'd really like it if we were your ambassadors. And we have the numbers. And the influence, don't we? And the interaction. And the interaction. So please see us. And we already have the cars. How, exactly. Like, so we already know the luxury, the experience. Everything. Like it's real. So um, please see us. Okay, besides. And what are your other dream brands to work with? Or are you already working with them? Oh, I want to work with... Are you scared mm, to say? <laughs> no, I'm not scared to say. You know what's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just starting out. So I've had to revisit my vision board because I feel like I might be downplaying myself and not seeing my worth because I keep saying, I'm starting out, I'm starting yeah. out. So I, re I need to revisit my, my vision board. But one that I can tell you that I really want to work with is Smeg. Oh. Because I am lifestyle. Yeah, I think you'd actually be perfect for that. Yeah, I, you're very lifestyle. I'm very lifestyle, so mother, wife mm. vibe. So I think I'd love to work with Smeg and Mercedes Benz. Oh, another one that I really like, especially with uh, Global Citizen, Global Citizen, mm -hmm. what they were doing that I really like, that I would I like, to, like to associate with is Johnson & Johnson. I mm. really, really love it. And like I said, I love their products. Mm. Um, let me see what else. Mm. If we're talking beauty... I was actually about to ask you if there's any makeup brands. I like MAC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What else and Maybelline, <laughs> and Maybelline, Mac and Maybelline. Yeah. I think, I think I like that. Yeah. Mm. What are you and yours launching? I'm sure this video will be out by the time you guys launch. No. Really? But you guys are launching tomorrow. <laughs> no, who said we're launching tomorrow? <laughs> Didn't you say you're launching it tomorrow? Uh, we said keep your eyes on our TL. I thought you were announcing it tomorrow. Mm -mm. Can I guess? It's not that deep. Like, no! It's not that deep. Like, I feel like we raised the bar yeah. so high. It's, just, <laughs> it's not. Guys, can I just put out? It's not that big. Really? It's just. Yeah. It? But either way, you're launching something, so it's big. Okay, Hypers. but this will be it. Ah! It's not that big! How did you guess that? I know. Oh, oh girl, I love my love. Oh, wait, I didn't do it in my eye. The whole time. Let's see. What did you have? I was eating Neely's earlier, and they leave like black stuff in your teeth. I didn't see anything. Really? Mm -mm. That's one thing we have in common. Umbila, you. Who's your Mili plug? I was I was driving from um my client mm -hmm. and someone kind of loved me on the road. I saw someone, and the thing is they were in the opposite direction. So and you turn. I do that. Too. <laughs> I do that too. I love 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 Mili's. Okay, so moving on to lips. I'm just gonna do a simple nude with a gloss over. Oh, these are nice. These are cute. Are they nice on mm, the lip? I love them. Let's I really, really see which them. color would work. I think I like this color. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go with the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip. Is it cream? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Mac Nicki Minaj lipstick in the shade Nude, as well as the. Clinique lip gloss in the shade Bonfire. Should I go directly so, on my lip or should I? Doesn't matter. Okay. Whatever you're comfortable with. Guys, this these mealy things are like all over my teeth. I don't even see them. 
I hope that in this video my teeth don't have black spots. <laughs> but I like that or more orangey feel. Maybe let me try this. Let me see how this looks and then I'll decide. What? The more orangey. Do you mind if I set my face while you finish off your lips? No, 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 no. So I'm gonna use the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. And then I'm done. Okay, no, I like the other one. <laughs> do you want me to spray for you? Okay, wait, no, I need to do it classy like you do it. Okay, let me start all over. <laughs> Let's do it together. <laughs> Here it comes in the wrong place. And guys, we are done. How do I look? You look stunning. I love it. You look great too. Are you happy with your makeup? I love it. I don't know if it's a, an everyday corporate look though, but that's because I, I think <laughs> I think the lashes are a bit too dramatic. The lashes and also some people may not have the time to do eyeshadow. Yeah, no. But everything else I think is pretty easy and achievable. It actually is. Oh, again, I'm going to promise to um, do practice. it more, practice and do it more. The next time I see you, you better be wearing a cut crease. Girl, uzongibona. <laughs> Please can you suggest what we should film for my channel? Because mm -hmm. I really don't know what we should film for my channel. Anyway, guys, thank you, Michali, for joining thank me. Thank you for having I had, me. I had so much fun. I also did. I feel I like we just became best friends. <laughs> thank you guys for joining me on my march madness please like comment and subscribe so guys if you're not following and subscribe to michali's channel please rush over you'll get like every look like everything is there right <laughs> yeah and go on her instagram <laughs> go on her instagram twitter cool stuff Bye. my love goes deeper deeper than the ocean flows down like the river